it up straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep. These niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG. Just no do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. What's good, T Squad? It's your girl Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and I'm here with a brand new Spill the Tea video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and allegedly, okay? So if that works for you, then let's get into this video. So, you guys, this week on the Tamron Hall show, she interviewed Real Housewife of Miami reality star and ex wife to Scottie Pippen, Larsa Liza Pippen. Um, and it was a very, very, very interesting interview. She asked all the questions that we, the people have been dying to know, um, how she started dating Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan. What does his parents think? Um, did she take into consideration Scottie Pippen's feelings, considering the fact that Scottie does not get along with Michael Jordan? Honey, she asked all the questions, and Larsa answered to the best of her ability and gave her truth. I'll be back afterwards to give you all my thoughts and some exclusive behind-the-scenes tea on Miss Liza Pippen. <laughs> Marcus Jordan. Uh, the dating rumors started in September... At the time, you said you guys were just friends, and then it was revealed when you said on Valentine's Day that he was your forever Valentine. Are you guys in love? Um, I think so. We're, we're in a really good place. Yeah. How do you I describe like, it? I feel like a lot of people think that we've known each other our whole lives, which we have not. Well, he's 16 years younger, so that's yes. not possible. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we, we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years at where? At a party. Then? At a party. I, like an L.A. party. Did you and know we, who he was at the time? Well, yeah. We're, we have a lot of mutual friends. And so we're kind of in the same circle. So we've been around each other for like the last four years. So you're at a party and does someone introduce you? How did you connect? Yeah, we were um, at a party and they were like, oh, you know, Marcus, Marcus Jordan. I was like, oh, hey. And so we became friends. We both kind of grew up from, you know, we're both from Chicago. Yeah. So I feel like we have a lot in common, like a lot of common ground, you know, like. Even with the age difference. And I don't say that. I don't yeah. want to say it flippantly because age difference, men get you yeah. know, able to date people 30 years younger in some cases, without judgment. He's 16 years younger. Other than the Bulls, like, what do you have in common? We have everything in common. Really? Well, I don't, I've dated guys that were a lot older than me. Scotty is 10 years older than me. Scotty's 10 years older than yeah, me. Yeah, so I don't really view age as, you know, you're mature, yeah, you're not yeah, immature. I, I don't I, I don't feel like that determines if you're mature or not. Well, I, I feel think, like if you can go, if you can drink at 21, yeah, you, can, you can go to war at 18. Like, you know, there's different circumstances that I feel like age doesn't really um, determine your level of maturity. I think the age for most people, if we're being honest, that's secondary. The bigger thing is where you are a beautiful woman. Thank you. And you could date anybody you wanted to. Thank you. Um, why would you date Michael Jordan's son knowing that it's been pretty clear mm -hmm. that Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan didn't have this relationship people thought and certainly don't have it now. Mm -hmm. Scottie has come out publicly and said that this documentary that was produced by Michael Jordan mm -hmm. uh, made him, he says... I was nothing more than a prop. His best teammate of all time, he called me. He couldn't have been more condescending if he tried. You know, that's, you know, I can't, I can't basically explain how someone else feels. That's how Scotty feels. He's, he has a right to the way he yeah. feels. Yeah. I personally don't really care about what, you know, other people, how he, you know. I feel like I live my truth. I'm happy. I feel like we get along. He's my best friend. And so Marcus I, is your best friend. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we have a lot in common. But as I was saying, friend. you could date anybody in the world. But Why you know, date Michael Jordan's it, son? I didn't plan it like that. It wasn't like it was planned like that. I think we were just together a lot with our friends, and it just so happened. It wasn't like something I like planned. You got to remember, like I feel like for me being you know, married to someone that was an athlete or whatever, it's really hard. You get scrutinized yeah. a lot. People don't think you should have a life once you get divorced. Yeah. They think you're once you're divorced, you're like done. And I feel like I've overcome so many different obstacles because I feel like I should have love. I should be able to date who I want. I should be able to like, 
you know, like live happy and go, you know, just go wherever I want to go and not be judged every time I'm seen with and someone. And you should, you should. I'm curious because when you start dating someone, it's hard. Not, it is hard. It's also hard meeting their parents. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan, and what did they say about the relationship? You know, I don't really, I mean, of course, I recently have met, you know, I've recently been hanging out with them, um, but I don't really want to talk about them. I feel like it's not about, you know, my parents or his parents, they're all happy, our whole family's fine. I feel like it's more about like where I am, where he is. You know, I feel like we're in a great place. We motivate each other. We're really happy being together, and I feel like that's the most important thing. Well, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I, I, and I understand what you're saying because you are your own people. That said, he has a trophy store dedicated to his father. It's like a sneaker you posted, head. Yeah, sneaker, <laughs> yeah. But you guys posted a picture with the number 23 behind you. There's only one number 23. Right. You know, um, God bless, he walks around with those great Jordan shoes. Yeah. That's his dad on there. Mm -hmm. So he can't run from who he is. Right. And... When I married my husband, he met my mom. My dad is in heaven, but he met my mom before we got into a full relationship. Mm -hmm. It's normal for people to ask, how did his mom respond? How did his They're dad fine. Respond? Everyone's fine. They're cool with it. Yeah, everyone. I think like when you're an adult, I think your parents just want to see you happy. You know, my parents want to see me happy. His parents want to see him happy. So you have their blessing. Yeah, I feel like we're great. Yeah, I feel like we've, you know, we've spent holidays together and it's good. We're in a great place. Yeah, that was cringy. <laughs> but I will say that I feel like Tamron did her job. She's a journalist. She's a talk show host. She's there to ask the questions. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that she was being rude or disrespectful. She was simply trying to get to the meat and potatoes of it all. So I don't have a problem with the questions that she you know, gave towards Larsa. I feel like if it was Marcus sitting there, he, she would have grilled him just the same. You know what I'm saying? Now, my opinions on this entire situation is I watched the documentary that Michael Jordan made a few years ago for Netflix, and it was made very clear from him and Scotty that they were not the best of friends. They did not kick it um, outside of playing basketball you know, going to practice, they weren't friends like that. Michael really truly kept to himself. You know, he kicked it with his family and his chosen friends, but as far as having like straight up relationships with his teammates, he did not do that. He was a leader on the court. He was very stern and, you know, guarded, to be honest with you. And in a man in his position, you have to be because everybody's coming for your neck. Um, but like I said, they did not kick it with each other. Their kids did not play with one another or anything like that. But that does not mean that their children and spouses weren't ever around each other. Uh, do I think that Larsa was like around Marcus, like, you know, in a close capacity growing up where they had family vacations and dinners and play dates? Absolutely not. I think that she saw um, him at games or at, you know, Bulls functions or whatever throughout the years. But do I think she had a relationship with that little boy? Absolutely not. But is it weird to see a woman that literally saw you through the years grow up and then later date you? Yeah, that is weird. It's weird. Are they both consenting adults? He's a 30 something year old man. She is what in her late forties, you know, it's nothing, you know, that's against the law or it's not like he a 20 something year old man you know he is a, a man man so he know what he's doing she knows what she's doing I think that um it is strange it is weird it is messy it's very 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 messy for them to date considering the dynamics of each of their families considering the fact that you know Scotty has made it blatantly clear that he did not like the way the documentary came out. He felt like Michael Jordan treated him like a glorified, you know, pet pretty much, you know, like just, 
you know, his 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 sidekick, you know, he didn't really get the acknowledgement and accolades that he should. And Scotty went through a lot when he was signed to the Bulls. He didn't get paid what he should have gotten paid. He didn't get the accolades that he shouldn't have that he should have gotten. So I know that there is a lot of hurt and pain there um, on his behalf because Michael could have stepped up and had his back in a lot of cases and he did not. So Larsa had front row seat to that throughout the years. So the history between Marcus's father and her ex-husband is substantial. You know, does that mean that she has to live her life for Scotty? No, they're not together anymore. They're divorced. We don't know how their marriage was, what type of husband he was towards her. We don't know. But she shouldn't be basically constricted on how she should live her life because of Scotty. Like I said, is it messy? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, but I don't, like I said, I don't think that she should be constricted on who she should date and who she can, you know, see. You know what I'm saying? What I personally do it, I don't think so. I don't know, though, because I haven't been put in that position, but I don't think that I would just because of the, the messiness of it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, and at the end of the day, she has children, teenage children, young adults. It's just a lot that goes into the whole situation. Do I think that this is a relationship that's going to last? No. Not at all. He's a 30-something-year-old man. Like I said, she's in her late 40s. I don't know if she plans on or wants to have children, but I don't see this being a forever situation. You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't. But Larsa, from what I've heard, is a very nasty person. She really is a mean girl. We've seen it on the reality show. And... I have proof of her being a very mean woman to people that she does know and has been around and has had relationships with. So on TikTok, I follow a TikToker by the name of Olivia Joan. Now, Olivia is the granddaughter of George and Joan Johnson, who were the co-founders of Johnson products. Johnson products include Ultra Sheen and Afro Sheen. So she comes from a legendary prominent black family. And she details the story of her relationship with Scotty Pippen because she calls him Uncle Scotty. They have a really close relationship. He's not her biological uncle, but she told the story on how her family and Scotty's family end up becoming very close. And she gave some tea on Lars. Take a look at the video. Okay, so Scotty isn't my real uncle, but I'll tell you the story of how he got his name. So Scotty and my mom's relationship started when my mom was dating Michael Jordan. And that happened because um, Michael was doing some ads for my grandparents' company, Johnson Products. And, you know, it, it just was a good PR move to have the daughter of the company dating one of the best basketball players in the world. Um, and in that time, I think they were together for a year. My mom and Scotty just ended up getting really close. Like my Scotty would, you know, ask my mom, you know, to help him out and she would put him on ads just to give him some money. And they just started getting really, yeah, close. Of course, Michael, my mom uh, don't last. Uh, my dad and my mom get married. They have my sister and then they move to Argentina. Um, but even when my mom moved to Argentina, like Scotty, my mom and my dad, they, they all stayed close with one another. Um, my mom loves telling the story of when Scotty was in Chile playing in a tournament. He called my mom like very homesick. My mom, without hesitation, gets in the car in Argentina and drives to Chile and like stays with him the entire tournament, cooks him like a home cooked meal. Um, and just to reiterate, like their relationship is like brother and sister. Like they're never, it's never been romantic. Ne neither one wants that. Like it's always been platonic and just like caring for one another. This is me who he's holding. That's my sister. Um, we moved back to Chicago. Oddly enough, we moved like four minutes away from one another in Chicago and we would go on family trips together. Like he's just always been part of our life and like it's been just like 
an uncle figure. Like, this is us in Disney World. That's Larissa before her surgery. Like that's my siblings. That's my mom. My dad's the one taking the photo. And like they weren't just close with like our immediate my immediate family. Like this is a photo at my grandparent my grandfather's 80th birthday party. That's Larsa before she had her plastic surgery. I don't like her. I was in Rolling Loud and we were at her section and I like say hi to her. Um, and then she gets security to come over and um, remove me and my friends from her table. Like, she's so annoying. Now, this is how she treated this young lady whose life she's been in since she was a little girl. And she just dismissed her like she was nothing, like she didn't know her. Like, how old are we? Like, literally, how old are we? Like, she literally is a horrendous person and I don't like her for that um so it just it just the whole aspect of it all is like I said cringy it's messy um I don't think that the relationship will last I think that Tamarin did a phenomenal job with the questioning um because I think that these are questions that we all were wondering when we found out that she was dating Michael Jordan's son like what are you doing what are you thinking everybody's grown and of age so they can do what they want to do but if the parties involved went into this with malicious intent then you know karma is a mug and it will come back on you in ways that you will never ever imagine now regarding the part where Larsa said that you know his parents are cool she's kicked it with them and this that I don't believe it I don't believe that everybody's all hunky-dory about this and yeah oh yeah you're just welcome with the family and oh my goodness come on in that's weird bro weird and you can't tell me that Michael who is very blunt very blunt or Juanita have not asked her what is going on here like the just the the ratio and everything of this is weird and we we got questions I know my son is grown but at the end of the day that's still my son and you're somebody who was married to my husband's you know teammate like what girl like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. like you can't tell me Thanksgiving dinner wasn't awkward I don't care how old that man is it's awkward and it's weird uh, it's weird Larsa it's weird and like I don't know what she's going through where she's like trying to reclaim her youth and hanging with these kids I remember it was like last year a year before last she was seen one night kicking it with Carisha and them and I'm like girl these kids are literally could be your children why are you hanging with kids like I feel like she's going through a midlife crisis or something like she's trying to look like Kim she's changed the way she physically looks she doesn't even look like she used to look at all she looks like a totally different person I don't know it's just it's just the whole thing is just ugh, to me y'all let me know what y'all think about this mess what y'all think about all of this do you think that Tamara was being too harsh with her questioning because some people are saying that she was I don't think that she was um what do y'all think about Larsa dating Marcus Jordan what do y'all think about what Olivia Joan had to say? Let's talk down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.